All right, Glenn Hausman here for Here to Stay TV, powered by Bridge Street. I'm coming at you today from the Service Department Summit Recharge in Berlin. And we've been talking a lot about the notion of community. So I found Mr. Thomas Mielke. He's with uh, Ethos Consulting Group, a company I know out of the United States. Thanks for being here today. Thank you, Glenn, for having me. So community, what does that actually mean? It's a big word. Yeah. Uh, we talked about it during a couple of It's also a good sessions. sitcom back in the United States. Uh, that's like, true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some time ago, though, right, yeah. isn't it? Anyway, we talked about communities, the pros and cons. What are people mm -hmm. doing right? What are people go doing wrong? Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, a couple of points were raised, which I could really identify myself with. So um, what are people doing right? And what are people doing wrong? Because there seems to be a difference between creating a place for people to hang out and one that actually fosters a sense of unity and togetherness. Correct. I think key word is authenticity. Mm -hmm. A lot of organizations or uh, hospitality firms are trying to enforce a community uh, right. upon their mm -hmm. clients and guests. Right. Instead, they should be really genuinely, genuinely caring about their clients' needs, customer needs. Uh, they should engage personally mm -hmm. with them, engage in a dialogue, uh, and thereby create community and perhaps also do things together. Mm -hmm. And what do you mean by do things together? You mean like get people in the hotel or in the apart hotel or in the service apartment to do things together? Or do you mean staff, meaningful staff interactions with the customer base? Oh, it's actually both. Mm -hmm. I think you need to identify where the common shared interests right. and can we do something around that? Uh, so I'm thinking both in terms of, for example, co-living, co-working concepts, but also for hotels, traditional hotels. Mm -hmm. Try to engage with your customers and understand, well, why are you here in town for? What are you doing? Let me right. give you some you know, specific personalized recommendations. Small things make a huge difference, I think. I think you're absolutely 100% correct. And uh, the reason why I really truly believe that you are correct in this instance is because um, people remember people. That's what shapes the true, true experience that we have. We can have beautiful art. We can have beautiful environment. We can have great technology. But it's that interpersonal reaction that I think people go home and they really connect with and remember. I agree. I mean, let's face it. Ultimately, the hospitality industry is a people-driven business. Mm -hmm. And way too many people forget about that, which is a shame. So where do you think all of this is going? The, uh, everything seems to be changing so rapidly. There seems to be the sense of convergence between all right. these different sectors. Is community the piece that holds it all together, no matter what your concept is? I do think so. Community and authenticity. I do think these are the key words. Yep. And ultimately, you're asking me about where are we heading? I think it's about hybrid models, combining yep. the different elements of the hospitality industry. Mm -hmm. It's forget about traditional lodging, forget about traditional restaurants and bar concepts. Suddenly you have co-living, you've got co-working. How do you merge all of that together under one big umbrella? Um, and it's working together with a different constituency right. to basically make sure that this works. Right, so future, it's all changing, it's morphing, and all of you out there need to really be open to change. Just because you've been doing things the same way for so long doesn't mean it was wrong, it just means pay attention to the cues that are out there. Help create that sense of community out there, and I think you know, you're gonna be successful. Well, at least Thomas will think you're successful. I know you'll be successful. So for uh, Thomas and myself, Glenn, thanks for watching Here to Stay TV.